Celebrities take great care to project a well curated image of themselves. Their social media posts are carefully planned, their interviews are coached, and their public appearances are usually pretty strategic. But if you want to know what they're really like in person, just go on TikTok. The new trend calling for people to talk about their personal celebrity beef is sweeping the platform, and stars are getting exposed big time. So let's get into it. I'm your host, Bridget Shields, and here is part two of Top 10 Celebrities Called Out on TikTok by Fans. Number 10, Anne Hathaway. A woman by the name of Natasha Singh posted a viral TikTok about the unfortunate incident where she got yelled at by the star of Devil Wears Prada. The story goes that she was at the Oakland airport in California, and she had just gotten off a flight and was speaking to her mom on the phone during a layover. She said, I see this girl that looks familiar. She's dressed in black and she's trying to be low key, but she made eye contact with me. I couldn't remember her name, so I told my mom on the phone, I think the princess diary girl is looking at me. Natasha said, at this point, she smiled at her because she didn't know what else to do. Then apparently, Anne flips out and starts yelling at her because she doesn't want to be looked at. Her assistant then comes over demanding that she stop taking pictures. But because of all the yelling, fans started to swarm around them. And so Anne and her assistant eventually just bolted out of there. To sum up the whole experience, Natasha said she was a complete biatch and made a scene for no reason. Number nine, Machine Gun Kelly. A security guard who goes by the name of Davis or just DA on TikTok spoke about his experience with the rapper in 2011. When he was working at the Showbox, he said Tech 9 was coming through and MGK was opening for him. Tech 9 is a very professional group. They always use their passes. They have a very strict tour manager. MGK was parked out front. Davis went on to say, long story short, there were these stairs and a bar entrance that he couldn't get into. He tried to bust through without an ID, without a pass, and without a shirt. Then he claimed that MGK tried to push through a 150 pound kid with a black belt. But when he realized that he couldn't get through, he ordered his security guard to start beating up the kid. This is when Davis said that he came in with reinforcements and put MGK in a chokehold against the wall. As a result, the rapper got kicked off the tour and banned from Seattle the very next day. So it sounds like he got what he deserved, but I don't think he's changed very much at all since then. Number eight, Nick Cannon. YouTuber Trisha Paytas hopped on that same TikTok trend, talking about the time that she met Nick Cannon while she was auditioning for America's Got Talent. She said, I always heard he was a really nice guy, and I think he was just having the worst day ever when I auditioned. She said she hadn't talked to Nick before the show started, but said that the other judges were really nice, including Howard Stern, Sharon Osbourne, and Howie Mandel. Trisha said, Nick was horrible. Nick looked at me like I had escaped in there and somehow got past everybody. He literally yelled for security when there was no one around. It was so weird. The judges were all looking and it was hella embarrassing. Apparently, Nick proceeded to yell at her and told her that she needed to get the F out of there. This was another classic Trisha Paytas story, which holds up considering that she's auditioned for and been on about a million reality TV shows. Obviously, Nick thought she was somehow trespassing backstage because no one told him that she was a contestant. Still, that would have been humiliating for her. Number seven, Justin Bieber. TikTok user named Franathan opened up about the time that she and her family met Bieber, and surprise, surprise, he was a massive D-bag. She said, for some context, in 2010, my family was selected as one of the families that gets to go on a sick kids trip to Walt Disney World. This is because my younger sister had cancer. Franny went on to say that one of the celebrities on this trip was Justin Bieber, and then she showed a photo of her family posing next to him. She said, he was a D then and he's a D now. He was exceedingly rude to my sister. You could definitely tell that Justin was only there because his press people said it would look good for him to mingle with the sick kids. Keep in mind that there were kids that were in much worse condition than my sister, and literally every single family had the exact same experience with this kid. In the comment section of the video, you could see a lot of people were divided over how they felt about the story. Some fans defended Justin because he was only 16 at the time, but others weren't so forgiving. Number six, Mel Gibson. A 25 year old former barista who goes by the name of Maddie Ray posted on TikTok about her horrible encounter that she had with Mel Gibson in 2018. She was working at an upscale cafe in downtown Vancouver when he walked in. She said she didn't recognize him at first, but said that he was loud, he was rude, and just generally unpleasant. Maddie said, as he was ordering, he was leaning in very close to my face and in the middle of his order, he burped right in my face and just carried on as if nothing happened. If that wasn't bad enough, apparently he didn't even tip. She only realized who he was after her coworker had recognized him, but she said that it was an interaction she would never forget. While I will say this encounter seems particularly gross, especially with the burping, something about it is very on brand for Mel Gibson when you compare it to other stories about him. Number five, Dove Cameron. A former film extra and dancer named Cameron posted on TikTok 
TikTok about the time that he lived in Vancouver and he got hired to be a background dancer in the Disney movie Descendants 3. He talked about the horrible experience he had working with Dove, saying every second we were not filming she was making out with her boyfriend, to the point where they were doing push ups on top of each other on set and we were all waiting for her. But he said the real drama started when the director told him and the group of extras that he was with to look at Dove because in the next scene her character was about to do something bad. He said I guess Dove wasn't paying attention because the cameras started rolling and we were staring at her and she goes stop stop cut why are they looking at me they're not allowed to be here and apparently she started trying to call security on them to get them kicked out. Okay this one is completely indefensible but is it really surprising that a massive Disney star is also massively entitled? It's almost like she knows that she can get away with yelling at the extras. Number 4 Bill Murray. A woman named Adiza Ferris posted on TikTok about the traumatizing moment that the comedian embarrassed her on a flight. She was sitting next to her husband and her newborn daughter when Bill Murray got on the flight. She said he looks and he sees that he's sitting next to us and he loses it. He's like I don't want to be on this flight, I don't want to sit next to a baby. And he was like this is the worst seat in the entire plane and I was mortified. I was so scared and so stressed out during the entire flight. To be fair Adiza does say that she understands not many people would want to sit next to a baby but apparently her daughter did not make a sound the entire flight as she was fast asleep. At the end of the video she shows an actual photo that she took of Bill Murray on the plane looking pretty pissed off. I mean I can understand why he would be reluctant to sit next to a baby but there's really no need to try and humiliate her either. Flying with a newborn would be stressful enough as it is. Number 3 Tyra Banks Back with another story from Trisha Paytas. This one was about her horrible experience going on Tyra's talk show in the 2000s. She started her TikTok saying I usually try to give celebrities the benefit of the doubt because you never know if they're having a bad day and people are always pushing and pulling for their attention. But mine was with Tyra Banks. They paid me and asked me to be on her show in episode 1 of season 5. The producers allegedly told her just to be herself because the episode was supposed to be about natural beauty. Because of that the producers made her take out all her extensions as well as her fake nails to have her on the show. Trisha said that once she sat down Tyra became extremely rude for no reason, telling her that her hair was fried and told the producers to get her off the stage because she didn't belong on her show. And to top it all off apparently they didn't even end up paying for her time. So it sounds like Tyra just straight up didn't like her appearance and didn't care about her feelings enough to continue the show. Number 2 Jessie J Responding to the hashtag celebrity beef trend on TikTok, a London woman named Nene surprised people with her story about running into the singer at Heathrow Airport. She was there hoping for the chance to meet 5 seconds of summer and then she sees Jessie J just randomly appear at the British Airways check in desk. She said me being a fan of hers at the time I literally walked over to her and said hi and then she turned around and gave me the dirtiest look you've ever seen in your life. She then looked at someone next to her and that person said can you please get away from her. This honestly ruined her for me. I was such a big fan. After that encounter Nene said that she was not able to listen to her music since. To be honest I have to side with the woman here because she's not the only person who's had a bad experience meeting Jessie J. In 2020 Michelle Visage from RuPaul's Drag Race said Jessie was a cold person and she wasn't nice when she came on the show as a guest judge. And coming in at number 1 Cuba Gooding Jr. A TikTok user named Hannah posted a candid video naming and shaming the worst celebrity that she's ever met. She started off the video saying I debated not doing this one but honestly F that and F this guy. She called Gooding Jr. a smug a-hole and said this guy came to one of the fashion week parties that my magazine was throwing. He actually demanded that we send a car to pick him up and when we told him that we couldn't he got absurdly angry. She said that he eventually showed up and had two assistants with him and apparently Apparently he sent them out into the crowd to vet and recruit women and bring them back to where he was sitting. Hannah went on to claim that he was forcefully fondling women in the crowd, catcalling people, belligerently drunk, extremely rude to staff, just being gross and really predatory. The crazy thing is that we know the story to be true as there was even a page 6 article published with multiple witness accounts of the actor's behaviour during the party. Well that's it for this list, please let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video.